babe, welcome back to another vlog and welcome to Vlogmas day seven. Can't believe it. We're officially a week into Vlogmas. I'm feeling so good about it, honestly. It's 12.45 right now and I totally meant to check in with you sooner, but I had to catch up on emails this morning. The last couple of days I neglected my inbox and this morning it was like screaming at me and it was giving me anxiety. So I had to sit down. I also was supposed to go to yoga this morning, but my tummy was kind of hurting still. It's not my tummy. It's like, I don't know. I really hope it's not my appendix. Again, please don't web MD me and freak me out. But there, I, there is something happening over there. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I just don't want to go to the doctor or to like the emergency room or to the walk-in or wherever and be like, I think there's something wrong with my appendix and have them look at me and be like, um, that's trapped gas, honey. Take some Beano and go home. <laughs> like that would just, I would just be so embarrassed, you know? So I don't know. I'm not like in pain pain, but there's definitely something that's not normal and it's only on my right side. If you're like, wait, what's going on? You obviously missed yesterday's vlog and you should go back and watch that. So you know what I'm talking about. I did get the bulk of my emails done, which makes me feel very good. I scheduled some things for my mom's visit, which I'm so excited about because she's coming on December 20th, which will be here before we know it. I do have some more computer work that I need to do, but I kind of feel like doing that a little later. We also really need to tackle my closet. Like we have to. I've dumped clean clothes and clean laundry on my bed and it's just a hot mess in there. My bedroom is like very scary right now. In case you think I'm being dramatic, I'm not. Of course, I love that my bed is made, but like there is just stuff everywhere and we need to handle all my clean clothes. So that needs to be done today at some point. I did not eat my Greek salad last night. So I think I'm gonna have that for lunch, which I'm pretty happy about. And I just air fried some chickpeas that I'm gonna throw on top. So I'm gonna have some lunch. I am pretty bummed out that I missed my yoga class this morning. I mean, I missed it intentionally. I still kind of felt that cramp and I was worried that it could possibly make it worse. Or if I got like a sharp pain or something, I didn't want to be disruptive to the rest of the class. And I just kind of felt like maybe it'd be best if I just didn't go. Okay, I'm gonna have my lunch and then we'll meet back up. Before I forget, subscribe if you're new. And yeah, that's all. going on up in my mind right now. <laughs> There's a lot that I want to get done and lots of little like random things that I need to get done that I've been putting off. So I'm going to make a little list before we try and tackle my bedroom, which that is the first thing. Organize closet and dresser. I also want to go through my closet and see if there's any pieces that I still really like, but that I'm not wearing and figure out why I'm not wearing them. I think I've gotten this question before either on my Instagram or on here, I can't remember, but somebody asked me about how I put together outfits. First of all, I love Pinterest. I feel like Pinterest is a great place to get outfit inspo, but also I will go in my closet and see if there's things in my closet that I love, but I'm not wearing and write down what it is I think I need in order to wear that outfit. So if like there's a dress that I really love, but I don't have any shoes that I would like to wear with it, then like what kind of shoes would I want to wear with it and write that down and go ahead and order them. Or if there's an outfit that I feel like I need a specific color hat for that I don't have, like go ahead and order it. So I kind of go through and pick out pieces that are hanging out in my closet, but not being used and try to make a list of what it is I think I need or I want in order to make it a complete outfit. So that is something else that I want to do, outfits. She just moved in front of me. So I moved over here and now she moved over here. <laughs> Cue Mariah Carey's Obsessed With Me. The other things that I want to do is I want to figure out when I'm going to go ice skating and who I'm going to go ice skating with. There's also another fun festive activity that I want to figure out when I'm going to and who I can get to come with me. <laughs> And I'm also thinking there's a possibility that I might be taking a little road trip somewhere with my mom when she comes. If that's the case, we need to rent a car. So I wanna look into that as well. Lastly, I have already booked some really fun experiences 
to treat my mom to when she's here in New York. But I also really want to take her to a Broadway show. I've never been to a Broadway show in New York. I don't think, well, no, she's never been to a Broadway show in New York either. So I want to do that for her and with her. I want to figure out what Broadway show we're going to go to and book tickets. So that we already have that all together. I've already pretty much planned out her trip. We're going to have so much fun. <laughs> I've gone like overboard, but that's okay. But that is the last thing that and possibly a little road trip situation, which will happen after Christmas. Oh, and I want to book a nail appointment for tomorrow. I have been loving the red, but it is starting to get caught on my hair. You know, when your gel starts to grow and you like are washing, I was washing my hair last night and it was like accidentally pulling my hair out. So yeah, even though it's all in one piece, it's slightly lifting on the bottom and it's time. I'm trying to decide if I want to do like a dark green or my usual funny bunny situation. Hi, my cute girls. Do you want to open your advent calendar? Do you want to open your calendar, Penny? One, two, two. Time for the puppies to open up their advent calendar. Honestly, this was one of the funnest things to do. Come here. Penny first. Oh, it's another twofer. <laughs> oh, I just had a moment where I had like an outer body experience where I realized that I am not only opening up an advent calendar for my dogs, but I'm feeling myself doing that. And I also use the word twofer. So all of that combined is just, <laughs> it's a little cringy, I'm not gonna lie, but you know what, uh, we're owning it. We're owning it. It is a twofer. What else am I supposed to call it, you know? Lolly and Penny. There's still two more, but we will save them for later. Well, I was gonna save them for later, but now they're just staring at me. Go circle again. Go circle again. Come, sit. Bye-bye. Okay, there you go. Down. Good girl, Penny. Okay, that's all for real. That's all for real. Sorry. Let's open up our tea too while we're at it. Day seven. Another green tea blend. So guess what? I'm opening it at a reasonable hour. We could definitely drink this right now. It's a green tea blend. Let's make it and start working on my closet. I'm procrastinating if you couldn't tell. Ooh, this smells really good. That's really good. I have my notebook. That way I can write down anything that I want to add to my wardrobe. And I feel like I've made an extra big mess because I have a big pile of clean clothes on my bed, but I don't know. I guess I like to make things difficult for myself sometimes. <laughs> I had planned to do this yesterday, as you know, but we didn't get to it. But what I did mention in yesterday's vlog that I'm gonna repeat again is that we're bringing some Marie Kondo energy to this. And what I mean by that is I wanna be really intentional with what I keep. I know it's really easy to hold on to things that you're like, well, maybe one day I'll wear it. And I know that's true. And I guess if you have the space, totally hold on to it. My closet is the size of a shoebox. <laughs> And I don't have a ton of space and I don't do well with a lot of clutter. And so I know that it makes the most sense for me to not hold on to something that I am not wearing. So if I love it, I'm going to write down what I think I need in order to make it an outfit so that I will wear it. And if I can't figure out what it is that I need in order to wear it and I'm not wearing it, then it's going to go either up on my Poshmark or it's going to be donated. I did just book my nail appointment too, which I'm very excited about. Just thought I should let you know we can take that off our list. It's time to tackle this whole situation. And I actually think I'm gonna start with my dresser and just go drawer by drawer. Did you take that out of the clean laundry? What do you have there? <laughs> what is that?
almost five o'clock and I feel like I've reached the point where I've made a bigger mess than when I originally started. I am questioning why I'm doing this. I am over this. <laughs> You know, when you're just like, what did I do? Why did I do this? Why did I open Pandora's box? Because <laughs> now I'm in too deep, I can't go back. Yeah, it's a big, big mess in here. It's a big mess. It's a really big mess. What am I supposed to do here? I, I've made a big, big, big mess. And you know what else too? It's like I told you just a handful of hours ago that if I didn't wear it or I'm not using it, that it's gonna go. But I'm having such a hard time. Like I, it's so much easier said than done. So what I think I'm gonna do is there are so many things that I literally don't wear, but I like and don't want to let go of. So instead of getting rid of them all together, what I think I'm gonna do is take it out, like take it out of my closet or take it out of my dresser, whatever it is that I haven't worn in a really long time and just tuck it away somewhere. Where, I don't know, because I don't really have any closet space. But you know what I mean. I'm, I'm gonna either put it in an under the bed bag or put it in like one of the big aloe totes in my coat closet or something. I'm just gonna put it away for a while and see if I miss it. And if I miss it, then I'll put it back in my closet and I'll wear it. And if I don't miss it, at the end of the month or something, I will donate it or like in a week or two, I'll donate it. You know, I think that that's a good plan. See what life would be like without it. <laughs> and then make my final decision. In the meantime, I do think I am going to start dinner. I know it's kind of early, but I think I want to do some cauliflower gnocchi and I like to bake it until it's crispy and it takes a long time. Preheat the oven and get that going. Cause it'll probably take at least an hour to bake. I'm just getting ahead of schedule here, you know? Also, I tried on this adorable red set that I showed you the other night that I got from ASOS and it doesn't fit me. The top is too small and the waist of the bottoms are too big and there's no drawstring, which is such a bummer <laughs> because otherwise like the material is amazing and it's super, super cute. So sadly, this is going back. That was a bust. And I'm totally sure about the black dress that I showed you from Princess Polly, but feel like I need to try on the red dress because now I'm starting to feel like it's giving Santa Claus vibes and I have no idea what shoes I would wear with it. So honestly, I haven't even gotten to the outfits part because I'm still trying to weed through what it is I want to keep and what is going bye-bye. So this is taking so much longer than I anticipated, which is slightly frustrating, but it's okay. It's gonna feel really good once I get it done. It's just quite time consuming. I don't know why. I always think I can do things so much quicker than they actually take me. I don't know. That's like my toxic trait. I think things are gonna take way less time than they actually do. closet clean out purging apartment organization project went from an expected one day project to what I think is going to be a three day project because I have only just purged my closet and organized it, which I'll show you, but I have not even bothered with the coat closet. I have not done the outfit thing that I wanted to do. I still didn't even do the media console that I want to organize. Yeah. So we're just going room by room. I got to decide whether I can continue this in tomorrow's vlog or I need to look at my schedule and stuff, but we'll definitely continue this. <laughs> We've got like two and a half more weeks of vlogmas, so we'll get to it at some point, but let me show you what I got done. Here's my pile of things that I love, 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 but just don't wear enough. So I'm going to tuck all of this away somewhere and live without it for a couple of weeks and see if I miss any of it before I donate and or post on my Poshmark. My closet though is so much better. It feels way more organized, way less cramped. And I even have some blank space in here, which feels so good. That's my donation bag, like 100% donating, which is great. 
And these are some returns that I need to make. Although, you know what's so sad? I got that rug for my bedroom, but I literally can't pick my bed up in order to put the rug under. And I could probably find somebody to help me, but I haven't been able to find somebody to help me yet. And then I started thinking about like, what if I wanna take it out and wash it or clean it? And I literally can't get it out. So I think I'm actually just fine not having a rug in my bedroom, honestly. And I never even use the rug. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take that back to Urban Outfitters. I'm going to fold all this up and put it in a, under the bed bag. Let's open day seven. Oh, interesting. Cooling shower gel, activated charcoal and mint. Fun, I'm gonna try that. Not tonight though. I'm gonna use that sleep shower gel that I got in the last ritual advent calendar. This one's so fun. I love all the little self care goodies that are in there. Anybody else's pets just wait for them outside of the bathtub or the shower? Hey, you can't come in. You can't come in, Bali. No, you can't come in. coming at you live from the tub. <laughs> I did want to tell you that I actually really do like this cleansing balm to remove makeup. However, I know some of you said that it made you break out or irritated your skin because it does have fragrance in it. I didn't think to look for that when I purchased it. So had I had that knowledge previously, maybe I wouldn't have tried that because I do have really sensitive skin. However, I think it's working for me and it's fine because I use this first and then I double cleanse. I don't know if that's helpful for some of you. I had already used a significant amount of this by the time I saw some of your comments, so I couldn't return this. So I figured I might as well continue using the three pack that I got. This is giving me uh, Willa oat milk energy, buying a case of it before I actually tried it. Lesson learned. But anyway, I am liking it and thought that I would give you that little update. All right, guys, I am walking the dogs one last time and then going to bed, but I will see you in the morning.